What can we learn from viruses about going viral and the algorithm? When we say a video went viral, it's not just a catchy metaphor. Videos really do spread almost exactly like viruses. And after making over a hundred viral videos myself on multiple different platforms, I've discovered the same rules that make viruses unstoppable are the ones algorithms use to make content explode online. So let's put ourselves in the shoes of a virus to see what it takes to truly go viral. It all starts with the first host. Every new virus needs a first host to kickstart its spread. This happens when viral particles invade a body and bind to specific receptors on a host cell membrane to gain entry. Videos work the exact same way. So that initial click or view is your video's patient zero. Comment down below what patient number you are based on the number of views this video has when you're watching it. So far we have established your post needs an initial audience, the few viewers that stumble across it on their For You page. But viruses don't just need a host, they need the right host. Someone exposed, unprotected, and in the right environment. So think very strategically about your patient zero. Who is most likely to click, share, or comment first? When are they usually on their phone? How can you make the thumbnail appealing to them? Because that small group usually sets the trajectory for your video. Step two in a virus's journey to becoming viral is replication. But here's the thing, viruses can't replicate on their own. They need to hack systems designed for something else, like ribosomes meant for animal proteins to make their own viral proteins. As creators, we can hack the algorithm by hijacking features of the platform itself, like making content that encourages shares, stitches, and duets. The key takeaway here is to design content that invites the audience to participate in sharing it. Challenges and trends do so well because they are built for replication and sharing. Step three for a virus to successfully go viral is transmission, and viruses spread very differently depending on the vector. For example, a mosquito-borne virus will never thrive in Iceland, but will thrive in the tropics. Videos spread through digital vectors, which are the platforms and algorithms that will share your content. And you'll quickly notice that posting the same video to YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook will give wildly different analytics results. So identify your strongest vectors that can spread your content the fastest and to the right people. Then prioritize growing there before adapting your content for other platforms. Step four for viruses to keep going viral is mutation. Viruses mutate to evade immune systems and spread faster. And since these mutations are completely random, only the luckiest survive. So if you're new to creating, don't just post one version of your great idea. Post 10 slightly different ones. I've been testing this out with my YouTube shorts for almost a year now, posting at least two versions of every video I make. And sure enough, one of them usually performs way better than the other, getting millions of views while the other only got a couple thousand. And when you're starting off, comparing the performances of these slightly different versions of the same video will help you understand the tiny changes you can make to make more of your videos go viral. The takeaway here is to post several variations of your video and let the fittest survive. The last important factor for a virus to go viral is the R number. It's basically the average number of people one person can infect. Epidemiologists obsess over R0 because it predicts a virus's destiny. If it's above one one, the virus can spread exponentially, but when it's below one, it quickly fizzles out. Videos follow the same math. If each viewer convinces the algorithm to share your video with more than one other, you get exponential growth as views, likes, shares, and comments compound to force an algorithmic pandemic. In conclusion, viruses are not clever. They don't strategize. All they do is exploit systems ruthlessly. Stop trying to brute force attention and start exploiting the biology of these platforms. Then let the algorithmic chain reaction do the rest. But always remember, the most successful viruses keep their hosts alive, adapt, and coexist with them. So focus more on making evergreen content that stays relevant, useful, and rewatchable while also adapting to your audience's changing needs over time. Other than that, going viral is actually pretty easy. I mean, if a virus can do it without a huge brain, so can you. And as always, if you love these videos as much as I love creating them, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with a friend that wants to go viral. See you in the next one!